Over the last six months, I've seen a few interesting designs on Thingiverse for 3D printed micro drones that use an 18650 lithium ion cell and a battery holder as the body of a mini quad. Now, I downloaded one or two of these and I plan to make one, but I just never got around to it. But now, Reckon FPV have taken this idea and produced this super lightweight, long range micro drone. And the reason it's taken me so long to get this review done is because this is very convenient and it's just great fun. Just fill your pockets up with 18650 cells and you can go flying with this for ages. And that's what's distracted me for the last couple of weeks. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Black channel. Everything about this little QT is about convenience, which takes all the pain out of FPV flying. Once it's set up, all you need to do is pop in an 18650 cell, turn your radio and goggles on, and you've got an easy 10 to 15 minutes fly time. And it's so quiet, you're not going to disturb anyone. And you all up way to this? Well, let's have a look. One hundred and twelve grams. So this isn't going to cause anyone or anything any damage if it hits it. Just get that out of there. There we go. And the convenience of using this isn't just popping batteries in. It's got built in Wi-Fi, so you don't even need to take a laptop and USB cable out with you. Just connect it using your phone, using Wi-Fi, and use the awesome SpeedyB app to tweak your setup. It's very simple. And just because it's small, that doesn't mean it's slow and boring. You can zip around pretty fast with this. It's really designed for smooth flight, so if you start doing all the flippy floppy with hard throttle punch outs and acro, you'll seriously limit your flight time. Now, there's a lot of 3D printed parts on this to keep the weight down, but the frame itself is two millimeter carbon. On the top there's a battery holder and that's what it is, a real battery holder that's been repurposed and bolted on there. All the electronics are bolted underneath with this 3D printed cage section on the bottom. Now buried in here is a Zeus 5 all-in-one flight controller and a 4-in-1 ESC. Up front We've got a Cadex Nano Ant FPV camera, and this is connected to a Zeus Nano VTX that's switchable from 25 milliwatts right up to 350 milliwatts, which is impressive stuff. These little motors, they are Reckon 1202.5 11,600 kV with these Gemfan 3018 three inch two blade props, very lightweight. And I ordered mine with a TBS Crossfire receiver with the Immortal T antenna mounted up front, which is the best place for it. All the other usual options are available for receiver as well, XM Plus, RXSR and so on. Now, it flies pretty nicely straight out of the box. Mine came flash with Betaflight 4.2 and Reckon have set the warning and the minimum cell voltage to 3 volts. Now, that's about right, but you can let lithium ion cells get down to about 2.8 volts or even 2.5 in theory. Although I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't really matter what battery chemistry you use, charging or rather discharging down to the theoretical minimum just isn't good for the long life of the cell. Now, the range on this is fantastic, especially with Crossfire, so that's not a problem and the 350 milliwatt VTX is good, but there is a bit more video noise on there than I'd like. It's by no means terrible, but 
recent bind and fly mini quads, the analog VTXs have been pretty good. The Canex Nano Ant camera is one of my favorite micro analog cameras, so that's a perfect choice in my book. Price on this is about £145, which is around $190 for this Crossfire version, and the XM Plus receiver option is cheaper, it's about £130. But I'll leave links in the description so you can check out the latest prices. Now that's not super cheap, but it's okay, and you will have hours of fun with this. When you turn your quad on, you'll find if you look in your settings, you've got a network called HELRC Hermes something or other. If you just connect to that and then you start the speedy bee app and use Wi-Fi connect fantastic so I've got my quad connected you can see it whizzing around there we can set up our PIDs let's have a look at what we got here all very nice so you can use this out in the field no cables no laptop absolute doddle to use there are a couple of things to bear in mind though lithium ion cells behave quite differently to lipos so if you're not used to using them don't leave them lying around after you've charged them up they do self-discharge quicker than lipos and i tend to keep mine on trickle charge right up until i use them and the discharge profile of these is very different. They'll drop pretty quickly down from 4.2 to about 3.8 as soon as you start flying. And they discharge fairly linearly down to about 3.2 volts, but they hang on for ages in that 3 to 3.2 volt range. If they dip below 3 volts, just back off the throttle for a few seconds and you'll find it'll recover. And if you start throwing this around with hard throttle punches and acro, these will die quite quickly. But that's not what this little quad is about. It's for long range and long distance cruising. And you'll easily get 10 minutes cruising on one of these on one charge. And depending on your battery, anything up to 15 minutes or more. And I'd recommend using Sony VTC6 or the equivalent 18650s for the best performance. These ones I was using they were a little bit tired, but I was easily getting 12 minutes. The other thing to watch out for is hard landings. So when you get that land now warning, land, or make sure you're over some grass. This bottom cage is 3D printed in PETG, which is a pretty strong 3D filament, but it's quite brittle. So a hard landing on a hard surface will probably crack or even break this but Reckon do have a download link on their website to the STL file, so you can print your own if you want. Maybe nylon might be a better material, but it's heavier than PLA or PETG. Now, do make sure that you plug this battery in the right way around. There's a little 3D printed plus on that side. If you get it wrong, there's no reverse polarity protection on this board and it'll fry the flight stack and there's no buzzer on this so if you drop it in some long grass it'll be pretty hard to find you could strap on a drone finder if you want or just use the dvr in your goggles to find it now i love this little thing way way more than i expected mainly because if i just feel like going for a quick fly i can with no trouble choice of flying spots is made so much easier because it's so quiet and so light fantastic as always, thanks for watching, and if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more like this, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new content. I'll see you next time.